What's going on YouTube? Funko Hunter here. Today we're back. I'm really excited because we got an awesome mystery box here to open up today. This is coming from the great company Chrono Toys and this, that's their high roller mystery box. $40 they were doing these. Shipping free. So you can't beat that. $40 shipping free. Already a great start. Plus $60 guaranteed value. That's a no-brainer. We're purchasing it. So, let me tell you a little about this today. I was cruising through Instagram the other day, and, you know, just as I always do, looking for something new to purchase, looking for always the new exciting stuff coming up, I stumbled upon this. Chrono Toys, releasing a high roller mystery box. $40, guaranteed shipped, $60 value. I thought in my head quick, these are gonna go fast. This is a great deal, like, why why would you even wait on this like doesn't make sense like let's purchase this right now so got my credit card out wiped it on the virtual internet and picked one up but i thought let's you know, see what the public thinks and i like to see what the public thinks so i clicked on the comments my surprise there was a lot of hate a lot of hate towards chrono toys in this mystery box a lot of people saying it seemed too good to be true. And it might be Chrono Toys, you know, dumping out a lot of, you know, maybe exclusives that are around the $60 range. You know, maybe, maybe these were a lot of extra chases or something that they bought like a bunch of things and then they got some chases or something. Like everyone had some sort of like idea or theory, but a lot of them seemed negative, which was a surprise to me. I, I, if you're familiar with my channel, I purchase Chrono Toys boxes all the time. I love their $10 Monday boxes that they release that I constantly buy all the time to get that Masto Choco that one day, maybe I'll get it. But every time I buy one, I mean, I, I buy them there. I think like Monday they do the $10 box. But shipping, it's like maybe like 16, 18 bucks. I've always got my value out of them. So I don't know where all this negativity came. But it kind of was concerning, but not at, at the same time, because I know Chrono Toys does a good job. I've never, you know, never been at the negative point of it. Hopefully not today, because I, I got a lot, a lot of hype around this box right now, and I'm, I'm looking really forward to what's in there. I've uh, actually seen a couple of YouTube channels open this up, because what was weird about this, the only negative thing I have to say so far is... I purchased it like in the beginning of the month. And I'm like, looking for it. Did it show up in my door? Looking. Another day goes by. Snows another day. Cleans up. Another day goes by. The weekend goes by. A week goes by. Now a shipping thing. Oh, it's just been created. 13 days after the purchase. That was concerning. So other than that, the two weeks that I had to wait for this box, that was the only negative thing that I could say happened so far from this box. But after seeing some people's YouTube channels, I had a little more concern. So before we get into that, I'll open this up because I am hyped. I'm positive. I have good feelings about Chrono Toys. I haven't, I, know, I feel like this is gonna be something I want or like, hopefully. Because $40 for 60 plus, ugh, seemed too good. Hopefully not too good to be true. But let's not waste time. Let's open it up. Also, if you guys aren't subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button as we are on our way to 500 subscribers. And when we hit that 500 subscriber mark, we're gonna do another giveaway, which is right around the corner. I think we're, I think we're at 460. We're climbing up there, 40 away. You could win yourself a $35 mystery box in Duel Against Me, the Funko Hunter. This box could be yours, which has a $60 pop in it. Subscribe to the Funko Hunter. Get yourself some pops. So, let's on open it up here, nice and gentle. I'm sitting here trying to open it from the top like I shouldn't be. 
bubble wrapped in here, and I kind of saw it. You probably already saw it and know what it is from the back there. Three, two, one. What is it? Let's open it up. It is the Toy Tokyo, the Warriors Baseball Fury. Now I'm going to tell you, uh, let's see. The box seems like it's in good condition. Felt like it was not in good condition at first. I was about to say no, but uh, it looks like it's in great condition. Uh, oh, I see what's going on here. It's like, again, yeah, it's like bulge coming out the side, but doing pretty good. Looks pretty good. Um, not something that fits into my collection. Something I do know about the Warriors. I've seen the, I believe it's a movie. It's an old movie. I've seen it. It's, it's good. You know, um, not something that I particularly, uh, you know, collect or, you know, enjoy collecting, but it is a cool pop. I mean, I definitely like the pop. It is really cool. The detail on it, the lips, everything like that. I like how they did it. Uh, the uniform, everything, his hair. I like his hat. He's got a nice hat. It's a, it's a well done pop. But I've also seen like seven other YouTube channels pull the same pop. Or the Vegeta Chase. So, I'll let you guys be the judge on this one. Was I at the fault of the Chrono Toys play now? Or, I don't know. Did, did I just get the, uh, the exclusive dump by Chrono Toys? I'm not too sure what the value is on this. I'm going to look up the value. I'll put it right up here above the pop. Hopefully it's above $60. I'm sure it is. So, I'm sure we got our value, which doesn't concern me this one will be up for sale or if anybody is interested in it leave uh your information in the comments below or just hit me up on instagram and we can work out a deal for this guy but pretty cool pop overall i'm i'm not excited i'm not super ecstatic but it's a cool pop i'm ex you know i'm not mad it's worth the money i was hoping to get the vegeta chase i saw a bunch of people getting but Sometimes you win the battle, sometimes you lose. Maybe this guy's worth a little more than the Vegeta, or maybe I can get a Vegeta for trade. So, all in all, I don't think I lost. I think I got pretty good value. I think I got, you know, a pretty cool pop. I know that people like this pop. I know people wanted this pop, so I shouldn't have any trouble selling it or trading it off and getting something that I want for my collection. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you guys some insight on some of these mystery boxes. I'm the Funko Hunter. You guys are the hunters. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.